All right, from here on out, all I'll be doing is sharing resource material with you, things that I've read, studied, listened to this past 30 years that I have found helpful in understanding the American system, American political system, American literature, American government, history, America as a civilization. So what I'll do, along with all the reference material I've put on the previous videotapes, if you watch them, you'll notice what books I've mentioned, what lectures I've mentioned. There is a lot of talks that I want you all to listen to. And the reason is I am uh, making these videos for people all around, all around the world. And I think in an audiovisual context, in a short, compact way, it is more realistic to believe that people will have a chance to watch it and learn from it, build the foundations, and then within a generation or two, we will gradually move into this federated system. But the important thing is for us to at least start learning and using a common language which is the language I'm speaking in. And I've said it in the past why or why I recommend this language. It's just because 2015 seems the most logical language to adopt as our common language. So uh, uh, listen to some of these lectures, uh, watch some of these videos, uh, take a listen to some of the books I've mentioned. Uh, again, I'm not mentioning too many books. I've read a lot, but I want to just make it in a lyceum fashion, like people will go to sit and listen to a lecture, and then maybe their inter interest will just automatically increase, and they will go search for more about that material. But I think these are the things that one needs to know, number one, to learn this common language, Number two, in this transitional period, to learn the strengths and weaknesses of a federal system of United States. From history of United States and its mores from early 1600s all the way to now. It does not start at 1600s and end at 1750 or 1850 or 1950. Now, obviously, this is something that has been going on. we got lots to learn from it both the good and the bad. So if you're listening anywhere on, and watching this video anywhere in the world, uh, whatever your age is, my recommendation is to please start learning this common language. If you've got younger members of your family, depending on how young they are, help them get started. The resources now are tremendous. I mean, if you have access to internet, just everything is at your fingertips. Even without a, uh, internet, as you notice, I've been putting, uh, I've been showing you a lot of DVDs. These are things that, let's say, if somebody's in a part of the world that doesn't have a computer yet, doesn't have access to internet, maybe they can watch these videos and learn a lot still. Just, and these are just phase one of our learning. I'm gonna attach uh, a lot of videos to my Twitter account. These are, again, videos that I've watched over the years. Zamin Van, by the way, let me be the first one to use it. Citizen of this globe, citizen of the world, citizen of planet Earth. And this is HN from Tehran Norman, one word. So I'll be uh, putting more videos, attaching to my uh, Twitter feed. I've started doing some, but I've just been lazy because I've watched a lot. I've listened to a lot of conversations. So best wishes. I hope you um, you are on your way from here on out. I'll just mostly put material that I find interesting. And every once in a while, I might interject an idea. But there's no reason that we should not all be able to learn a common language and communicate with one, with one another. It makes life much easier for all of us. 
All right. Best wishes.